This video you're going to get me talking about IFYM, explaining everything to do with it, my thoughts on it, me showing you my meals today and showing you my fitness pal after the day is done. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? IIFYM, what is it? If it fits your macros is what that um, acronym stands for. You learn your acronyms. <laughs> Before I can even get into talking, before it's really close. Before I can even get into talking about IIFYM, you need to know what a macro is. So not everyone does. So just if you know what a macro is, just get past this part really quick. So for those who don't know what a macro is, I'm about to tell you. So macros is short for macronutrients, and there are four macronutrients: you have your protein, carbs, fats, and alcohol. But in this video. I'm not going to be talking about alcohol, so that one's out. So protein, four kyles per gram. So protein has four calories per gram, Car carbs is the same, fats has nine calories per gram and alcohol has seven so if, when i'm shopping for foods and i look at the back the back packaging of a food item let's take these oats for example because i love oats so first i'll look at the back of the package and i'll see it'll show all the nutritional information so let's say these oats have it says 40 grams per serving it has two fat it's 2.3 fat, 26 carb, 4.5 protein. So if you remember what if you remember what each uh, macro has, you can calculate that yourself. I'll do that now. So we know that protein has four calorie four calories per gram, we know that carbs is four calories per gram, and we know fat has nine calories per gram. So if we multiply uh, the protein, we multiply the amount that's in 40 grams of oats, which was Protein was 4.5, we multiply that by 4, we get 20.7. Carbs, we got 26 grams, multiply that by 4, we get 104. Fat, 2.3, we multiply that by 9, we get 18. Add up all those, and that gives you your calories, which was 142.7 calories, which on the packet of oats, it rounded up to 143 calories. So that's macros explained, hopefully that helps, and now we can move on to IFYM and see how that works. So, IIFYM. I didn't know what this was a year ago. I was there eating my six meals a day, consisting of whatever meat, like chicken, broccoli, uh, rice. I actually don't mind that meal, but back then I was eating it too much every day, and I got fed up with it. So I'd be there on Instagram, and I'd be scrolling through the feed, and I'd see some guys and girls posting some amazing food. I've eaten cakes, pies, Amazing opals with like ice cream and cookies and shit in there, and I was just like, How are you doing this? And uh, I just couldn't get over it. I, just, I was there eating my shit, and I was like, How the fuck are they doing that and getting the shape? So obviously, I was interested. But since I started doing IIFYM, IIFYM, I learned very quickly that you can't get away with that shit, especially if you're in a caloric deficit. But what it basically means is that at the end of the day, if you hit all your macronutrient targets, your fats, protein and carbs, you're still going to get the shape you want, whether you be bulking or cutting. So, my macronutrient targets are as follows. This fucking shit right here. So my protein is 185, carbs 275, fat 50, that all equates to 2290 calories. It's not great. So as long as I hit those macros at the end of the day, it's cool to eat whatever I want. So you could have a chicken and milkshake for breakfast, you could have pizza for lunch, you could have a Nutella on your pizza for your next dinner. But hold up, everybody's gotta hit their macronutrient target. So it's your vitamins and minerals all coming from different meats, veg and fruit. So you still gotta get your asparagus, broccoli, beans, red meat, chicken, uh, whatever other meat, sweet potatoes, rice, you still gotta get all that in. So pretty much you're going to be eating 80-90% of your foods are going to be whole clean foods, raw foods, 
and the next 10 to 20% are probably going to be your uh, quote unquote dirty foods. Personally, I like eating my bro foods, and plus, if you're training hard, like if you're training hard every week, you need all the good shit that comes from uh, your clean foods like uh, magnesium and zinc, etc. Rather than eating that ice cream, I know I'm going to get a lot more vitamin C from eating blueberries and oranges. You might think that's a terrible comparison. But I really like blueberries and oranges. I don't think that your typical uh, bro meal plan is going to be stricter than IFYM. Because if anything, IFYM is stricter because there is no cheat meal. There's no cheat meals once a week. So like you can have add in any of your favorite foods into IFYM in small portions during the week. Whereas if you go have a cheat meal, you can go all out and go absolutely ham and have about have a huge meal, have dessert, have milkshakes, and just go well over way over the top and binge and just have a crazy amount of calories. For example, I'll still go to Bougie and I'll have my burrito bowl like whenever I want during the week. I have about one a week because I'm not going to have one every week because it's still, it's hard to track but I still do track it. I don't consider it as a cheat meal. I make room for it that day. I do what I have to do to put it in. I do not eat all my fucking calories. I do not hit my macro, t macro target and then go decide to eat Bougie on top of that. That's going way over the top. And you can learn how to do that. And the best, the best example of that is Matt Ogus. So go to his channel, look at him. He's, he, on his last prep he did, he ate Chipotle every day for his prep and still got lean. My last prep, for example, my friends went into a restaurant and ate in there while I sat out in the car for a bit and ate my chicken and veg. And when I was done, I went in and joined them and sat down with my water. How horrible does that sound? Still common, still a lot of people do it. I now no longer do that. I fit in, I fit in the food. If we're going to a restaurant, I can fit that in now. That's also making better food habits and creating better food relationships. So I've written out, I've written out pros and cons of IFYM um, because I can't remember them all off the top of my head. So first one, flexible eating. You get to eat what you want, but at the same time, try hitting your protein target of uh, 200 grams. Uh, by eating ice cream, you're not going to do it. A lot of people do IFYM to avoid eating vegetables, but you have to hit your fiber intake for the day. So you're obviously going to get more fiber out of eating two stalks of asparagus than fucking two spoonfuls of Nutella. Nutella might be nicer. Sorry, Nutella is nicer, but sorry, you got to hit your fiber intake. Second pro, teaches you how to eat out. So you're not creating a bad relationship with food, you're not demonizing any foods. Uh, like I discussed when I eat boojum during the week, I don't have to, I don't just eat it and not do anything, I track it. This is a good one. My fitness pal shows you exactly what's in a food. So the most I've ever learned about nutrition was from my fitness pal, learning what fats, proteins and carbs are in a food. I think a person knowing that and being aware of what's in foods is so important. It's the most, it's the most I've learned about nutrition, it's the most important part of getting in shape, losing fat and building muscle. Last but not least, it pisses off my friends. <laughs> so my friends that follow meal plans, they always, it gets, it gets me going that they get mad at the fact that I'm eating what I eat and I still get, I, I'm still getting into shape. Uh, but that's also a good thing as well. It shows that IIFYM isn't for everybody and there's different ways of going about everything. Nothing is written in stone when it comes to uh, diets, losing weight, Whatever diet you are, you're doing, if you're trying to lose weight, at the end of the day, the diet has to be a caloric deficit, whether it be keto, paleo, IIFYM, that's just how it goes. It gets rid of the idea of the old school bro bodybuilder that you have to eat six, seven meals a day, all consistent of chicken and rice. If I'm uh, out, if I'm out and about walking around and I'm passing like one of those fresh bakeries and I see a big ass cookie and I want that cookie and I eat it, now I don't have to cry about the fact that I had a cookie and I'm going to get fat now, I just have to track it. While there are pros, there are cons, and there's things that people might like doing and might not like doing. So I have here weighing and tracking everything that goes into my mouth. Literally, whatever I eat, it has to be tracked. It has to be weighed and it has to be tracked. So that takes up time. Time consumption really is the main one because sometimes you're going to, well, most of the time, I do too, you're going to plan your day out. You can't just go out randomly throughout, throughout your day and not have any foods uh, prepped or planned, you're gonna fuck up along the way if you're not doing this for a while. Also, another thing is you become a bit obsessed. You can become obsessed with MyFitnessPal and 
trying to fit in so many, but it's trying to fit in like your treats, if you want to call them, whatever, that it becomes, uh, that you actually do end up building a bad relationship with food. Another con, that you're trying, that you're trying to fit in as much bad food as possible. So I see people on Instagram putting up a lot of shit all the time. And I can tell you now that 80% of those people aren't in the shit, aren't in any shape at all, that they're actually just using their uh, food IIFYM fitness page for uh, likes, just to get likes, because some of the foods they put up that they eat all day, it's fucking bullshit, like you can't do that. You can't get in shape. Granted, there might be uh, 10 to 15% of people who actually are in shape that do that, and fair play to them, they probably do it right, but at the same time, they they have to know, they must know the importance of eating whole foods too to hit their macro and micronutrient targets, otherwise they wouldn't be in that shape, and I think they'd back me up on that too. Fasting, so I fast, but I fast most days until three, four o'clock, sometimes two, sometimes five, six in the evening. Some people fast all day in order to eat a food that has so much calories in it, that's full of shit, so they can fit that in and they, they can say, that they, uh, they can say, oh, it fits my macros, and that's it. So, that's the pros and cons. So, this is down to personal preference, what diet you choose. This is what I do, it suits me for now. I don't know if I'll be doing this for the rest of my life, I doubt it. But wait, do, I'll be doing this for the next few years at least anyways. And after those few years, I'm pretty sure that I'll have every food off. And I'll know roughly, like, I'll know roughly exactly what to eat in my head and I won't have to track it. And that's another great thing about my fitness pal is it teaches you what's in foods and in the future you won't need my fitness pal anymore. You can go away from it and know what's in a food and know the exact amount you need to eat. If you're one of those people who doesn't have time uh, to plan, like, their food for the day, then IFYM probably isn't for you. You probably should go buy a meal plan and stick to those meals. Like you know what you're eating, you know the portions. It'd be probably better for you. I like dark chocolate in my oats. I'll put two squares of that in, it's about 20 grams. If you're someone who loves chocolate or has a sweet tooth and you try and you go out dark chocolate a bit of it and put uh, some in your oats and you can't control yourself and you end up eating the whole fucking bar, well then IFYM probably isn't for you either. The point of this video was to show people, was to explain to people uh, that IFYM does work. I am an example of this. A whole load of other people are an example of this. And But when it comes, at the end of the day, it comes down to me and compliance, like so, if whatever you can stick to the best. Um, for If you have never done IFYM before, really less there is great tips on for, be for beginners starting IFYM. So I'll link that below as well. I'm gonna take you through a bit of what I eat. So I'm gonna practice what I preach. I'm gonna go eat a pizza. So pizza. Oh, yes. 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 That's all gonna happen. So my fitness pal, my diary. So here are all my meals for the day. So the strawberries, bit of whey, dark chocolate, oats, uh, white monster. They actually have calories in them, like five carb. So I know they say zero, but they actually do. So I track that. A hot chocolate, turkey mince meal, the rice, chili con carne, veg, and the pizza. And then down at the bottom, my macros. So there's 274 carb, 51 fat, and 186 protein. My macronutrient targets are 275 carb, 50 fat, and 185. So I'm under on carb and I'm over one gram on the proteins and fats, which is fine. So, I hope that video was helpful. Um, I think I'm done with it now. I know um, 
this is another thing new as well. A lot of YouTubers do this, do these kind of videos. I just wanted to give my kind of take in it, and a lot of my viewers now might not might not watch the YouTubers I watch, so thought this would be handy to do. The bro is also a fan of oats. What's in there? Dark chocolate, banana, just the oats. Ah, go away. Some boy. So that's this week's video done. Like, comment, subscribe. Next week's video, I'm going to be getting a, my body fat tested by the monk. So that'll be a good one. Out. Got better already. Just let me do it, man. Fuck off, recording. Fuck this shit. In a portion. Oh god, how am I going to do this? What's the word? What's the word? Oh yeah, your calories are going to be coming from nutrient dense foods. Nu nutrient, bah! On, on starting. Uh, yeah. yeah. I got a whiteboard, bitch. I got a whiteboard, bitch. <laughs>